And hundreds of people are kicked to death every year by mules. Hey, what are you trying to pull? Oh, I just thought I'd interest you in a little life insurance while I was waiting for the doctor. There's only one kind of life insurance for me, a six. I know a thing or two about six shooters. Figures show they don't always pay off. Now you take that man standing in the doorway. You better come inside, mister. You're liable to catch a cold standing in that draft. Come over here. So if you'll just keep him out of here, I, I know he'll make good with Mr. O'Brien's company. Why, it'll be like a new lease on life for him. And for you and me, too, Laura. What are you talking about? This. Well, what is it? Insurance. Sort of guarantee that you and your grandfather will go on helping me fight O'Brien. You see, I uh, bought this policy from your grandfather. You're lying. Why, Grandpa mistook that for scrap paper. There's a shopping list written on it. Shopping list? You erased it. All right, give it to me. And go! And before I go into that room, you're gonna tell me if Doc <laughs> Mason... Save your ammunition. You'll get plenty of shooting. From now on, not one ounce of gold gets through. Do you hear me? Not one ounce. Three men. Johnson's dead. Red and Blake are hit bad. Send Alex into Nevada. Tell him to hire the toughest gunslingers he can round up. Right. Tell you this, I know, I know. They got through again. What happened this time? Well, O'Brien had the whole thing figured out. He had 20 men laying back, ready to jump us as soon as we started the raid. Sheriff, did you hear a rumor they're storing gold in the jail? Huh? Well, there's nothing to it. Nothing to it, Mr. O'Brien. The only gold there is in this jail is what I got right here with wisdom to. That's all I want to hear. But look, boss, I'm having trouble with the boys. Some of them got a silly notion they like to live a little bit longer. <laughs> well, we're not licked yet. Maybe O'Brien just saved us a lot of trouble by hauling that ore into town. Well, what are you getting at? You uh, remember this? O'Brien's map. Yeah. 
Get Doc Mason in here. I sent for you, Doc, because I want to ask you a few questions. Where is Sawyer and O'Brien storing the gold they're bringing into town? I don't know. Ah, oh, yes, you do. Never mind, Cleet. Doc's going to tell us what we want to know, aren't you, Doc? Where'd you get that? Well, don't you remember? You sold it to me. I didn't know such thing. Oh, yes, you did, Doc. I was there. Now, see here, Doc. You tell us where the gold is, and I'll give you $2,000. You and Laura can go to San Francisco and start life all over again. If you don't tell me, I'll use this piece of paper and you can start life all over again in the penitentiary. Come on now. Where is it? I told you before. I don't know. You're a liar. Hold it, Cleet. I knew the old goat was going to be stubborn. All right, Slim. Come on in. Oh. Oh. Doc, I'm playing for keeps. I want to know where that gold is, and I want to know right now. You might be willing to go to the penitentiary, Doc, but you wouldn't want anything to happen to Laura, now would you? I think you better start talking. Hey, George. Mm -hmm. Doc's not well. What's the matter with him? I don't know, but he's home in bed. Well, I'll go right over here. Check this for me, Sandy. Keep an eye on him. They found you all right, eh? Yeah. Say, what are you doing, playing possum? You're trying to get out of work tomorrow. <laughs> Sit down, George. Sit down here by me. I want to talk to you. I may not have much time. Oh, now come, Doc. You're talking through your hat. Uh, could you... Could you prop me up a bit? I feel a bit uncomfortable. Take it easy now. Nice work, Doc. Everything under control, huh? No need to rouse the whole town with a lot of shooting. He's done for. He made the mistake of turning his back. Yeah. All right, let's get the goal and hit the road. We ain't hitting the road yet. Tomorrow we're taking the stuff to the saloon. Taggart's going to divide it up. Then we'll scatter and leave him 20 trails to follow instead of one. Come on, Doc, let's go. Doc Mason, I thought you were sick. I got well. Drop those guns! Drop them! Now, Doc, what are you doing? You can't get away with this. Come in, boys! All right, Sheriff, let's see how fast you can open that cell. Come on, let's go. Come on, boys, get it out of there. Now the other cell, Sheriff. Come on, you, in the cell. Come on, hurry up. You too, Sheriff. In there. Huh? Doc. Hurry up, boys. Hey! You promised you'd let Laura go if I did everything you told me. Where is she? Never mind. We'll turn her loose when we clear out of town if we don't have any trouble. So you'd better keep on doing what you're told. Let's go, boys. You come with me. Nice work, Doc. Why, you dirty double-crosser. Say, bitch! Where's Sandy, Doc? They locked him up in the jail. Larry, on my way, boy. Oh. Oh. 